Welcome and in this session we are going to discuss one of the most important aspects of technical writing in which it differs from other types of writing namely giving references. Okay, so, we will discuss in, in detail what this is all about. Uh, like we discussed the fourth rule of technical writing is that it is written to communicate concepts and to help others take off from where you live. But in addition most of the technical writing that we tend to do also have a bonus effect that is to show the scholarship of the writer. Okay. This is true for the seminar reports that we write, this is true for the thesis that we write, this is true for the project proposals that we write. In all these cases it is not just communication of concepts or helping others to take off from where you live, but it is also to convince a particular set of examiners or committee that you know what you are talking about and that you should be given degree or support to continue doing whatever that you want to do. So, there is this aspect of what economists call as signaling. So, this signaling in most of the technical documents is done through the references section. It is the footnotes and references that people read to identify if the writer knows for example, what are the important papers in that particular area. You might submit a paper or a proposal and then if the reviewer says that these are the important papers in this area and the authors do not seem to be aware of it. then it means that you will not get that degree or publication or funding. So, it is very important to communicate not just concepts and do it in a way in which people can follow up of what you are doing, but it is also very important to show uh, that you know stuff. Okay. And this is done using references. So, references are very, very important. It is very time consuming to make a proper list of references and just formatting it might take 5 to 6 hours, but you should spend the time on doing a good work with the references because reference section serves as a signal to the reader. So, there are many a times that I have looked at reports or papers and then try to make up my mind about the quality of the writing by looking at how seriously the authors have taken uh, the reference section, how careful they were in terms of formatting as well as in terms of collecting all the relevant literature. So, um, you should spend the, the required amount of time. Of course, this is where some of the tools of technical writing uh, like LaTeX for example, come very handy. They can make this process of uh, making the reference formatting and uniformity uh, very easy. But even in that case, it takes several hours to get the references right and you should spend the time that is needed to get the reference section perfect. Okay. Thank you.